so when we learn something we understand and we should know we must know that we learn everything for the purpose of utilizing and using we learn everything for the purpose of actually implementing those things in our life and if we can't and if we don't that is useless so just like that we teach english speaking we also teach communication skill to train the students and trainees so that they can implement the language and the speaking and communication in their lives whenever they face any challenge whenever they face any situation any moment to talk to convince to give interview or to just represent themselves so that they can represent themselves easily without any fear without any hesitation we train in such a beautiful way and we build the confidence we build the sense and we build the iq of all the students so today is saturday in the happiness institute not it is saturday on the happiness institute only it is saturday in the world but it's a special day for here because we are going to conduct a very special interview with all the trainees of happiness institute lakshmi nagar delhi ladies and gentlemen so let's call the first one may sana ma'am welcome so now in front of us we have sana ma'am and i hope that she is doing great in her life Yes, I'm doing great. Okay, so first of all, tell me, like you know, what do you think about this special Saturday and this interview session? Okay, in every Saturday, I feel so like uh, so fantastic because uh, we take an interview session and different type of session. So I'm very interested about this part. Okay, that's interesting, right? You know, she is feeling quite fantastic and quite connecting, but. today we are going to discuss about actually because as i told you that you know we are going to discuss about some of the uh, some of the social topics some of the social points and issues that the society faces according to you like what is the biggest challenge and problem of the society i just want to know okay the biggest problem is narrow minded okay. thinking okay. this type of thinking like uh, with the help of these uh, type of uh, with that people who have uh, narrow minded our society become like uh, backward mm -hmm. okay as compared to the other country mm -hmm. so uh, the biggest thing is that like uh, backward thinking is a very big problem in our society mm -hmm. Sana ma'am wants to say that the backward thinking and narrow minded people are really you know dirty fine actually you know the society and it's really it causes a big problem a big challenge for these common people like us people a uh, big problem that we can't uh, improve so what do you think like you know if you get an opportunity to just improve uh, these things and if you want to aware them how will you aware them actually okay the first thing is that i want to improve the education system mm -hmm. if i will get the chance like uh, i will improve the education system i will aware the people education is very important for both the genders mm -hmm. like uh, like uh, male as well as female mm -hmm. we mostly give the ed uh, education to the boys not girls or some places we give important Important through the girls' education or boys' education, we just think if a girl educate, uh, she will just ha handle the kitchen. It's mm -hmm. not like that. Uh, if a boy just educate, so many people said that uh, he just uh, earn money. Uh, uh, don't know how he will like education is nothing. If he wanna earn money, then education is not important. Just I wanna change these types of thinking mm -hmm. of the people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great thought by Sana Ma'am. Like she's trying to say that you know, like she will uh, not be biased. She will be equal, and she will provide the quality uh, regarding education to the male and female, right? Both of the genders. We must know the factor that you know there is a ten percent gap between the literacy rate of male and female, right? Male is higher ten percent, and female is lower ten percent. It's a big curse for our society and for our country, right? Okay, what do you think apart from just this uh, education system? Like, what do you think about that? Uh, what do you think about domestic violence? What do you think about torture? What do you think about uh, mental, you know, like uh, torment? And what do you think about all these problems? Okay, according to me, uh, like uh, these uh, female, uh, uh, female get harassed uh, in uh, uh, domestic violence and all. We just know about these, but uh, as well as side by side, men also face these types of problem. Mm -hmm. But no one is going to about these types of mm -hmm. situation. Like so many female, so many wives uh, torture their husband, man. Mm -hmm. as well as physically mm -hmm. uh, go and on that much money i need this 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 kahin na kahin pressure ho jata hai and a man do uh, like suicide uh, oh my god is tarah ke actions lene mm -hmm. which is not fair okay mm -hmm. uh, i will improve that type of the things if i will get the chance like mm -hmm. uh, we just pay attention on the females mm -hmm. uh, only females get uh, uh, harassed only females face the domestic violence no it's not like that mm -hmm. as well as a uh, male also get uh, domestic violence i have read an uh, article in that article a uh, man had 
to sold her kidney f- oh just to God. buy a sofa for her wife mm-hmm. like uh, it is a very uh, like a uh, strange thing for me mm-hmm. uh, at that time i was thinking no it's not only for females uh, these type of problem also facing by men also exactly yes Oh my god man sold his kidney for buying the sofa for his wife and it is really very strange and awkward for me I cannot sell my kidney actually <laughs> right so but there is a big problem like you know aadmi kehta hai mard ko kabhi dard nahi hota right so it is a big challenge because as you told that male also face the problem and i think emotional problems always male face and females torture <laughs> right <laughs> females torture to the males and it is really very cursing for the society oh my god yes right yes you accept it no i'm not accepting but the mm-hmm. thing is that like there are 5 or 10% females or males who do a domestic violence mm-hmm. i'm not saying like uh, 90% males are uh, torturing her wife or her girlfriend no it's not like that mm-hmm. uh, like uh, we have so like 2 to 3% of these uh, negative people who uh, puri society ka mahal kharab kar rahe hain yes so it means that uh, you are awareing the people please don't do it right yes. what will be your uh, um, uh, final you know awareness or final motivation for the society so- okay uh, i'm not going to motivate the society because we do have so many sessions on mm-hmm. it okay if i'm talking about the on this societal problem just apni uh, thinking ko bahut zyada broad kare work on your thinking uh, don't pay attention on the each other uh, dresses or uniform Uh, uh, look, she is going uh, with a short dress, and uh, she is studying. She is with a boy, or he is uh, with a girl. Don't pay attention on these things. Just pay on attention on the social problems. What we are facing, like uh, job problems, we have. We have education problem. We have poverty problem. If we pay our attention on these problems, maybe our society will improve very, very, very fast. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much for this great session. Thank you. It was a great interview. Ladies and gentlemen this was Sana ma'am right she came for interview and she talked about many social issues social points right and i hope that you understood and you must be aware of these points and these actually you know issues and uh, the most important point that you know like she also told and i also want to tell that you know narrow thinking or narrow minded people are really just creating a blunder and creating so many barriers for common people to take education to transform themselves and to lead in their life So my dear all people please try to understand and implement in your life and improve your life make your life shiny like a star and like a moon and like also a brighting sun or bright sun L- let's welcome the next one and i'm going to call the next was one mr prabhat and please don't talk cross talks are here piche se thoda sa Thank you so for giving me this opportunity so wait, that I can wait, have a wait 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 No I'm not nervous. You're not nervous? No. Really? Yeah. Your heart is not beating? No, not at all. Okay, that's fantastic. So tell me uh, like Mr. Prabhat, I think you are really a very uh, please you may come close, all right? You are really a sensible person or sensible guy. I need I think you read in class 7, right? Yeah. Okay, fine. So what are your points and what are your thinking and thoughts about society and social problems? What do you think like what is the problem in the society? The main problem that everyone says that everyone says is pollution but according to me the main problem is that in society or in urban areas no one is interested to talk to you if uh, especially in you are living in flats if uh, your neighbors don't talk to you they are not interested to talk to you they are, they have a very busy routine life they think that they, this is a distraction they don't want to talk to you according to me this is the problem okay this is the problem that you face like your people are not interested in talking to other people right yeah, so do you also face the same problem that you want to talk to any girl or any boy and they don't want to talk to you back do you face the problem yeah i have faced many times when i was alone at home mm-hmm. i used to be very tired and bored so i used to go in my balcony mm-hmm. and see is there any neighbor per- neighborhood mm-hmm. person and if there is any neighborhood person they is not wish to talk with me oh my god like what do they think about like oh prabhat is very actually you know like a very less talkative person or a, a kind of introvert so they are not interested you are you are a very boring person or a very lazy person or a very sad person 
why don't they want to talk to you they don't think that i can't talk or i am not uh, i am not talkative they don't think that i talk less they think that uh, why to talk with him i can play my on my phone i can get friends online why to talk with him physically but don't you think like you know getting friends online like insta or facebook is quite a fake thing like you know if you have real friends in your life it's fake so if, if you will have real friends they will help you in your bad time but you have insta friends they will say no i am not going to help you that is what i'm trying to say like you know like for example this time i am standing in front of you do you feel me or not yeah you feel me yeah. and if i will be on the instagram you will not feel me completely yeah i will not feel you completely i can only chat with you i cannot see your face exactly that's what i'm trying to say so we should make uh, you know real friends in lives and uh, i just want to ask you also the other problems like as you said that the people are not interested in talking to other people okay what about other problems you think in the society uh, some other problem uh, today i went to petrol pump and um, the ac of my car was not working well and then i said let's step outside mm -hmm. I I think that the the fresh air will be coming outside and the air will be cool. But when I stepped outside, I could not stand a single a uh, even second because the temperature was very high. Oh my God! In uh, early ten fifteen days, ten uh, fifteen years back, our teacher told that the temperature was very less and the Delhi was very suitable for the ah uh, country and it was the best place to be. But now it's the worst place because the temperature is going around fifty degree Celsius. So do you think that it is a social problem or it is the actually? No environment problem. Yeah, it's a environment problem. But it is the problem of Delhi. Yeah, it's problem of Delhi. So don't you think that in future actually we can't survive in Delhi? Like you know, Delhi will be the worst place. Uh, it will be the worst place mm. if we will not stop. Uh, like we should do car pooling method, or we should stop um, using cars. We should use bike. Uh, we should. Oh, uh, sorry. We should use bicycles. Mm. So do you use bicycles? No, I am not use bicycles. So But on Saturday and Sunday, uh, I said my mom and dad that let's today not go by car, let's go by cycling to park. Okay, but your mom and dad refuse you, right? They no, say no. They, uh, sometimes they say that let's okay, let's go. But when they are tired, they say why it's to go with cycle? Let's go with car. Okay. So uh, you are you really aware your parents and just want to aware the society? Okay, last time, la lastly, I just want to ask you, like you know, what will be your message for the people who are watching your video or who are uh, watching you on live? Uh, you know, like um, on the social. The message media. that I would like to convey to you was talk to your uh, physical friends. Why to make online friends? Talk to your neighbors. They are your best friends. You should talk to them. You should play with them. In flats, there are many people, but in flat, in the same flat also, they do not talk with you. Okay thank you very much all right may god bless you thank, thank you, you. Ladies and gentlemen, this was Mr. Prabhat, and Prabhat really told us a very important things and very important points. Like you know, people are not interested in speaking and talking to other people. They make friends online through Instagram and Facebook, but who lives beside them in their neighborhood, they don't know about those people, and they don't help and cooperate those people. It's really very saddening moment for us, and it's really very very actually you know hurting and you know heart touching. So let's. Let's call the next one, Mr. Yash. Hello, sir. Hello. How are you? Great, sir. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, now we have Mr. Yash. He is uh, really incredible, and he is also having some kinds of thoughts and sense of humor to talk about. First of all, how are you feeling this time? Ah, uh, sir. This time I am feeling very amazing and uh, superb, sir. Superb. Uh, really, do you think that are you getting some transformation by the training and by the classes? Yes, sir. Actually, me I transform to myself a lot again. Uh, okay. Because uh, whenever I see uh, before uh, some days to me, uh, that time I was not able to uh, speak like this. That time I just stuck in uh, some sentences and I was not able to good English. Right now, whenever I see to myself, really, sir, I can I cannot uh, I cannot express my feelings right now. I'm superb and I can speak uh, very well English okay. right now. That's great. Like Mr. Yash has transformed himself and is really confident and he is trying to express himself that yes, he has transformed himself because he has worked hard in his life. Now I'm I'm coming to the main point, like main uh, segment of the uh, session and uh, interview. Like you know, I'm talking about the social problems. According to you, like what are the problems of the society that you want to improve and you want to look upon? Ah, uh, first of all, sir, in my point of view, uh, which is I saw mm -hmm. in my uh, society in Delhi. Mm -hmm. uh, in Delhi, uh, there is a big problem. Is a uh, unemployment 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 okay. because uh, lots of our student are just uh, 
they are just giving 100 percent uh, okay. in their life and they are just improving to themselves for job but uh, but after some time they they're not able to uh, get, uh, get job. job because okay. sir uh, in our society lots of are frauding and uh, they are just uh, uh saying about money if you will get if you will give me money so i will get you job i will give you job mm -hmm. and uh, if you are not able to uh, for that that profile mm -hmm. so you are not you cannot do if you have a uh, uh, links if you have reference so you can get that job mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. this is a very big problem in our India, sir. Okay. So you want to say that uh, it is the pro not particular problem of only Delhi, but it is the problem of the country. People who have links, who have source of money, they get the job mm -hmm. very easily, but not those people who are talented and who are unique. They are not getting the job. Yes, okay. So how can you be solve this problem? Like you know, there is corruption in the politics, or there is corruption in the industries. Like because of that, it is happening. How can we solve this problem? Actually, uh, first of all, uh, in our Delhi. Mm -hmm we have to aware okay. first of all okay and uh, we have to aware to our government mm. that that are not making rules for against uh, those people who are just uh, uh, they are just uh, uh, asking about money and mm. they are just uh, doing very bad for tho those mm. people and student who are just able to job but they are not uh, getting the getting job. your job okay and apart from this problem like unemployment problem or not getting the job problem like you know what do you think like what is another problem we have that we should solve it uh, so another problem is uh, that girls abuse uh, uh, teasing teasing, Te teasing. Uh, okay. i saw whenever i went to with uh, when i by bus mm -hmm. that time i see uh, lots of people are just uh, and boys uh, they are just uh, teasing to girl and they are abusing to girl mm -hmm. and they are just uh, they are just smoking front of girls mm -hmm. and uh, they are not seeing that mm -hmm. that she is girl mm -hmm. that is big problem for me so okay. so what about those girls who smoke in front of boys uh, sir uh, just like, uh, like uh, if girl is passing to uh, f uh, passing to boy mm -hmm who is uh, smoking mm -hmm. uh, uh, at the shop mm -hmm. but uh, they don't see she is a girl sh girl is coming but uh, there are so many uh, group of uh, boys mm -hmm. and they are just uh, abusing uh, with friend they don't see there is a girl and she she is a uh, passing to us but they are just living their life and they are enjoyed enjo enjoying that uh, that moment but uh, this but is what about those girls who smoke in front of boys some of the bo uh, girls I have seen that they smoke. Sir, I know uh, girls are also smoking and drinking. Mm -hmm. But sir, uh, 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 girls are not same like uh, boys. that boys. Uh, mm -hmm. But she, if, if she is smoking at the shop, mm -hmm. so she don't is uh, she is not abusing that time. Okay. But boys don't understand that thing. That she is coming uh, and uh, passing to uh, passing to a group of mm -hmm. boy. Mm -hmm. She don't think that about. Uh, we have to uh, abusing that time or not. But uh, they don't understand uh, understand that problem. Thank you, thank you very much. May God bless you. Thank All you. right, ladies and gentlemen, this was Mr. Yash. And Yash has told us few important things like you know the biggest problem of our country and of the city daily is unemployment. And also he told that some of the boys are there who are hooligan or who are doing you know hooliganism and they are they smoke and they abuse in front of girls and they do the teasing and that's really very cursing for the society. We should avoid and we should stop all these types of activities.